Hey, what's going on there, folks? Welcome back here to the end of the weekend. It is your Earth Master out here on this Sunday night, July 21st, 2024. It's about 9.54 p.m. That's going to be West Coast time here in California. Latest activity shows a 2.0 on the Big Island of Hawaii. Obviously, we got a pretty decent swarm of activity underneath the Kilauea volcano. We'll check that out here in just a second. Take a look at the states here. Showing the latest quake on the map, a three-pointer out in the oil fields outside of Pecos, Texas. As far as uh, Southern California goes, I know we've seen a 3.5 earlier uh, this afternoon. Felt by quite a few folks out there in the area of Los Angeles. It was just offshore. The uh, Did you feel it responses here quite a bit. Uh, coming in from various areas, including the Redondo Beach area of Southern California. Uh, now this earthquake uh, looks like it occurred on the, um, oh man, looks like it's just off of one of these faults here off of Long Beach. Uh, I know the USGS doesn't show it when it's zoomed in, but it looks like it's on the Redondo Canyon fault. Little short fault system here that extends off. You can see the canyon out here in the oceanic floor, uh, obviously covered with water. Uh, a little bit of earthquake activity out there today. The rest of Los Angeles, fairly quiet. The rest of uh, Southern California out here. A handful of microquakes up and down the uh, Brawley Seismic Zone. Nothing really major going on there. Just a couple of smaller quakes. Roughly about the time as that earthquake came in there off the coast of Los Angeles. So I know we got uh, some movement stirring up down south here in the Baja California area. That is showing up there on the map with a couple threes and fours out there. So we'll keep an eye there on Southern California maybe for some further movement uh, with this little uptick going on there. Uh, the Lake Tahoe area doesn't look like we uh, seen anything else this afternoon. Uh, maybe a couple smaller microquakes following that two-pointer earlier this afternoon. Uh, total tally out here. Let's get a tally on the earthquakes. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, coming up on about 50 earthquakes here underneath the Lake Tahoe area. Uh, the largest one is going to be these, uh, this uh, 3.4 that struck yesterday. And that earthquake, uh, I believe, was triggered. The swarm of earthquakes here was triggered from the seismic wave uh, from that 6.2 earthquake down in the Guatemala area yesterday. It, it, uh, the arrival of the wave time up here into Northern California from the region way down south appears to have triggered that swarm underneath the Lake Tahoe area. I don't I don't really believe in coincidence there, but uh, these waves travel throughout the surface here, and I believe uh, the frequency and vibrations there can trigger swarms thousands of miles away. And um, like you say, at, uh, a decent amount of earthquake activity, and this region can see a seven-pointer. I think it was 7.3. Uh, one of the articles here stated that... Uh, we are somewhat overdue here in terms of uh, earthquake activity, probably about 500 years overdue. Um, not for sure where the article went to, but I've shared it a few times here on my previous video. So we'll continue to watch the Lake Tahoe area. It seems to come in waves. Here along the uh, coastal range, 1.5, just off of the uh, northern edge here of the Makama Fault. Handful of smaller quakes up there in Northern California as well. Really not a whole lot else going on there across the West Coast. The uh, Oregon and Washington area fairly quiet as well. Let's check out the trimmer map here for uh, the West Coast area. And mainly down here in Northern California and Southern Oregon. So this is going to be the southern end of the Cascadia subduction zone. Showing some activity. 62 epicenters of trimmer. Not a big deal. But uh, it's been consistent. We've uh, been, you know, fairly consistent here. Oh, I'd say over the last six weeks, seven weeks or so, off and on activity. Not quite as heightened as what we've seen back in May and June. Uh, even, even a little bit there in earlier July, uh, the numbers have gone down, but we're still seeing some trimmer activity here at the southern end of the Cascadia subduction zone. Uh, Yellowstone National Park, not a whole lot going on up here. Nothing showing up on the map, but I, I just want to double check and make sure. Now, yeah, this here, obviously some type of error. Uh, looks like they may have adjusted it there a little bit, but, uh, man, somebody needs to work on that one. 
Uh, aside from that, all these seismograph stations out here look fairly quiet. Looks like one lonesome earthquake here. This is a distant larger quake. So not a whole lot going on there across the Yellowstone area for now. And the rest of the country, as you can see, fairly quiet. Now let's check out Hawaii, see what's going on here. Make sure I got the most recent data. This page normally updates by itself, but I want to just make sure. Uh, a pretty decent swarm up here around the crater area. Starting to notice a little bit more migration up around this area. Wouldn't doubt it. I mean, it's possible we could see some uh, eruptive fissure activity up here just south of the crater area, or maybe we could see it return to the lava lake area. You never know. Uh, mostly twos, a bunch of twos out here in the last couple hours. Uh, let's go check out the volcano hazards map here real quick. And we'll see what's going on across Kilauea Volcano in the, on the big island of Hawaii. There's that earthquake activity stirring up here, upper east rift zone, and also just south here of the Lava Lake region. Seismograph stations there shows, uh, well, quite a bit of earthquake activity coming in there on the recorded graphs. Um, that one actually almost looks like it was offline. This goes to uh, two, 0245 UTC time. Yeah, it's a little, it looks like it's behind a little bit here. A couple hours are missing because it's uh, roughly about 0500 UTC time. So, yeah, we're lacking a couple hours, at least on those seismograph stations. Let's see what we got over here. Same thing. Look at that. Uh, the activity went offline here a couple hours ago, as far as the data goes. But look at all those earthquakes. You know, that's a swarm of quakes, and it does look like it's intensifying up there. Um, this station is right at the upper east rift zone in this area. That's a lot of fracturing fracturing of rocks. Just got another 3.6 coming in uh, to the Alaska area. Yeah, I don't know why those seismograph stations went offline. It's a little odd. This one here, is it up? Yeah, this one's running. This is a uh, current. Either way, definitely a lot of earthquake activity, and I would say a lot more than what's showing up here on the USGS map. Probably double, if not triple, the amount of earthquakes that are showing up on this map. Uh, let's check out the deformation data here real quick, and we'll see what's going on. Oh, man. Just been staying inside all day. Missy Mimi's not feeling well. I hope I'm not getting it. I had a little headache here earlier, so... Just been trying to take it easy, avoid the heat. Uh, going up. That is the inflation chart here in the last two days. We're, we're steadily climbing. Increasing pressure. Increasing earthquake activity. Increasing pressure. Could tell us here that we're getting ready maybe to see uh, some type of eruptive event out here. Out across the upper east rift zone. I can't rule out a return of eruption here across the lava lake. It's possible. Or maybe just south of this area uh, where all this earthquake activity is occurring because it's very shallow. Look at that. Uh, just below the surface, 0.1 kilometer. That's not one, that's 0.1. So a lot of shallow earthquake activity in general across this area. I don't know, maybe we could see a line of uh, eruptive fissures break up out here, uh, open up. So we'll, we'll have to watch that. Obviously, things are getting quite heightened. Could be uh, any time now. All right, uh, out and about here, getting a little bit of movement into the uh, Vanuatu area in the Santa Cruz Islands region, the latest one of 4.9. Uh, in between some deeper activity, this deep quake here earlier, 5.5, .5, and another deep earthquake ahead of that, north of that, earlier this evening, or late last night, I should say, 203 kilometers. So uh, some shallow adjustments starting to fill in here because this area has been awfully quiet over the last 10 days. Slowly filling in is a lot better then coming in with a bang as far as making up for all the loss of uh, earthquake activity here in the last 10 days. Uh, still looking at this area here, Solomon Islands, to fill in a little bit. So we'll keep an eye on that region. 
Uh, New Zealand down here, nothing big going on yet. There's a, uh, there's actually a five pointer that came in right now, Papua New Guinea area. So that's kind of out here in this quiet zone region. Just now seeing that. When did that come in? About 9:16. So just about an hour or so ago, that earthquake came in in Papua New Guinea, not showing up on the USGS map yet. Uh, New Zealand. Aside from that 4.3 earlier today, I don't see anything else showing up there on the globe. 5.1 earthquake south of Australia. That's a very odd one. Nothing, uh, nothing following that event as far as any elevated activity. So we'll just kind of watch this area. Been a lot of movement all around New Zealand here. And, of course, that all sits, New Zealand sits along that plate boundary. So I'm thinking this area may adjust accordingly. Keep an eye on that region. New, uh, Japan area, up along the northwestern corner here of the Pacific Plate, 4.7 and a 4.5. A couple earthquakes there in the last 24 hours. Uh, those earthquakes showing up here on the USGS map as well. Uh, the rest of the globe over here, or the model, uh, shows just generally normal earthquake activity out here. 4.6 coming in earlier this evening. In the uh, Iran area, 4.2 actually. That's from last night. So there's something else out here. 4.6. Looks like uh, it may be just up along this plate boundary a little bit further. Maybe in Iraq uh, for that 4.6. Um, let's see here. The Atlantic Ocean, pretty quiet. Nothing going on there. Let's check out the Caribbean plate. I see a 3.0 coming in. Uh, fairly recent. Uh, let's go over here and check this out. That's just south here around the Mar uh, Mariotas Trough. 27 kilometers deep. A little earthquake activity up north here around the Mona Passage. Uh, aside from that, quiet. Not a whole lot going on here across the subduction zone. All right, uh, let's see what else is there. Yeah, we'll just we'll keep an eye on Hawaii. I mean, there's a lot going on out here for sure. Um, do I have Hawaii on here? Let's see what happened to it. Okay, Hot Caves, Hawaii is right about here. So that's a, a pretty active area right now. So we'll keep that seismograph station up. I, I can switch between a, quite a few of these, but I like to keep the ones that are more important right now in view. The Aleutian Trench here. Nothing major going on. A pair of earthquakes, a handful of earthquakes out here across the Aleutian Trench. Really no general swarming out here across any area uh, that I can see. And typical movement up here across the Cook Inlet area up towards the uh, Alaska Range. Nothing new to report in that area. Uh, we did see a couple M flares. In fact, it looks like we're just coming down from an M flare right now uh, from this active region over here just on the southeastern quadrant of the sun. Notice that uh, flaring coming in here in the last hour or so, really rapidly kicking up. In fact, we've seen, uh, well, there's one, two, three, four M flares here uh, in the last uh, 12 hours or so, less than that. So something's kicking up here, and it looks like it's coming off of sunspot number 3762. That's this area over here that is producing all those M flares. Uh, a little bit of close proximity here within that magnetic core. Let's see here. Is that the one that produced uh, all these M flares, though? Uh, this article was put out a couple days ago. Looks like Kevin's on vacation. Hasn't really updated M anything on here. Uh, there was an M3.2, fairly recent, AR3744. So that was way over here on the western limb. So not all that M-flare activity is coming from 3762. It may be a mix. Uh, but we got to watch 3762 because it does look like things are growing a little bit here in that magnetic core that it harbors. The rest of the sunspots out here remain a threat for some C and low-grade M-flare. But uh, I'll keep an eye on this region here. It looks quite active. Uh, no major auroras in the forecast. Really not noticing any major elevated aurora activity either. Things are uh, just active in terms of flaring, but uh, nothing 
to speak of in terms of the Auroras for now. Uh, let's see here. Storm Prediction Center. Well, that's, you know, next couple days here look fairly quiet. I mean, there's a lot of thunderstorm activity out there. You can see pop-up thunderstorms all over the states here. Maybe even a little out here in California, but um, nothing major in terms of severe weather, which is good news, right? How about hurricanes? Let's check out the tropics out here and see what's going on. We've got a couple potential developments out here in the eastern Pacific. We've got disturbance number one, 10% chance here in the next 48 hours. Disturbance two here. 10% uh, chance here in the next 48 hours as well. So we do have a little bit of possibility of some cyclone development out there in the eastern Pacific. The Atlantic Ocean, nothing expected out here at all. So let's see what's going on out here in the eastern Pacific here. I want to pull up... Um, dee -dee -dee. I don't know. I can pull up anything here. Let's just pull up the north... Let's pull up the Pacific. Beautiful high pressure. No, I don't like that. Let's get that high pressure out of here. That thing is creating some hot conditions out here across the West Coast. So this here is the tropics. Hawaii right here. We'll put this into motion and see what develops out here. Uh, high pressure is going to keep everything south. Going to keep it along that line. Look at that. That's got to remember this is rotating here in the northern hemisphere uh, clockwise. little bit of a development there see that uh, low pressure pull off here that tropical development got to watch that and see what the high pressure does to it probably going to disintegrate it which it just did um, looks like a mess over here maybe some type of huge tropical system developing uh, further over towards the western pacific here later into august but uh uh, it looks a little bit active out here. Let me show you guys the uh, symbols out here for the states. Uh, we're going to cook here tomorrow. It's expected to be 110 out here tomorrow. Uh, high pressure out here, but I believe we have some relief in sight. Look at that cold, low pressure up there dipping down into northern California, the western portion here of the country, as we head towards the end of July. That is very welcome. We've had nothing but 100 degrees 110. The hottest it's gotten here in the last couple weeks is 100. And I think we hit 118 uh, just outside of Chico here one day. Uh, it was brutal. Absolutely brutal. And it's dropped down a little bit to 107, 108, but it's still hot. So we'll welcome this cooler weather that's coming in towards the end of the month. After that, uh, hey. Looks like things heat back up again out here across the majority of the country. All right, let's see here. We just got something coming in here on my phone. 5.8 right now uh, coming into the Vanuatu area. Uh, remember I just said to watch that area, getting some bouncing back and forth of uh, deeper movement and some surface adjustment going on. So definitely uh, good out there. Uh, could see some further activity in that little quiet zone that I mentioned right over here around Solomon Islands. But yeah, there's definitely a uh, 5.8 coming in there right now. Very shallow, 10 kilometers deep there for that quake. Looks like it's in that area where the uh, previous earthquake just struck here. Very shallow earthquake right here, 4.9, a couple hours ago. So notice, you know, this. This area has been awfully quiet here in the past 10 days. So things are going to come in. May see a, another larger quake over here around the Solomon Islands. But uh, it's coming in. And even as we speak. So stay safe out there, folks. We'll catch you guys out here a little bit later tomorrow. I know tomorrow's Monday. Monday, Monday, right? Start of the new work week. But uh, we can make it through it pretty easy. We'll catch you guys back out here early in the morning for the uh, Monday morning update. Make sure you guys subscribe. Please click that like button. And if you like our videos, please click that notification bell so you can get updated when we put out some important updates out here in the geology, earthquake, space science world. We'll catch you guys out here a little bit later. Stay safe.